Hello and welcome back to Little Grey Box. It's Phoebe here with Matt behind the camera. And on this channel, we share with you all our experiences and tips to help you travel well. And in today's episode, we are in Australia, in Queensland, in the beautiful Main Range National Park because we are hiking Mount Kodo. Located in the Main Range National Park, Mount Kodo sits 1,135 meters above sea level. Now it forms the northern side of Cunningham's Gap and protects the western part of a semicircular mountains known as the Scenic Rim. Now the trail itself actually starts in the middle of the Cunningham's Gap. It is on the right side if you are coming from Brisbane and there is a nice easy turn off there with some car parking so you can park like we did and then jump straight onto the Rainforest Circuit. The entire track return is 6.8 kilometers and they say you should leave around two and a half to three hours. So far, it has been really well signed and we're really excited. We've already seen a patty melon. When I was researching for this trip, I read somebody's comment on a blog somewhere and they said, don't worry. You hear that road noise and it kind of sucks because you're in this beautiful rainforest to start with. But at some point that road noise is just gonna go away and we won't be able to hear it anymore. And they said that's when it gets really cool. You get to hear all the animals and bird noises. So looking forward to that. <laughs> All right, this sign is awesome. We are only a few meters down the track and they've already got so much information. So as they say here, we are now standing on the remnants of a volcano that was active some 24 million years ago. That is so cool. The eastern part of the main range shield of volcano once spread across the Vassifern Valley, probably as far as Mount Maroon, Boona, and even to Ips Ipswich and as far as Warwick. It's just incredible. The views up here are spectacular. We've got our next signpost at the lead off for the Mount Cordo track. From here it says we've got 6.2 kilometers return to go so it's really not that far, far and when I was looking online it said that little kids can do this. Um, if you've been watching this channel for a while I've made no secret of my hate for hiking. I've been learning to run this year I'm trying to challenge myself to do things I don't normally do and this is one of them so I'm giving hiking a shot here and I figure little kids can do this, I can do this. Subscribe. <laughs> The no, road noise is gone. It's completely gone. It's beautiful. There are so many animals in here when you stop and listen and just let the silence fill. We've seen so many patty melons, so many little birds. It's beautiful in here. Yeah, killing it. I started running at the start of the year and it's really, it's turned me into an athletic champion. <laughs> no, but I used to really struggle with this kind of stuff and I think, I just thought, oh, hiking's not for me, I really hate it. <laughs> Especially going uphill, I don't like that. I like flat hikes, it's fine, but um, I think it was more to do with, I didn't enjoy it because it was so painful. <laughs> and now that I'm a bit fitter, I'm enjoying it. So it's good to know. Maybe I'm unlocking a new phase of life, kids. Yes. I'm going to start taking hiking seriously. What? Yeah. Let's get really into it. This is ridiculous. We'll do the hike from Mexico to Canada. You want to hike from Mexico to Canada? Sounds like fun. You don't even like walking to the shops. If there's chocolate there, I do. <laughs> Uh, that 
that wasn't too hard at all. I was definitely expecting it to be significantly more challenging than that. So this is a walk I would say is suitable for anybody that has a reasonable level of fitness. It's not too challenging. One thing I would say though, is you do need to be a little bit careful because there are a few slippery patches and a couple of rocks you need to go over. So keep that in mind. Mount Kodo is known to the indigenous people as Niamboyo. It is said to have formed by remnant runny lava flows from the unlocated main range shield volcano that was active some 24 million years ago. The national park is home to several stunning mountains, escarpments and ridges, each offering jaw-dropping views over the Gondwana rainforests of Australia World Heritage Area. It contains rainforests similar to those that once covered the ancient supercontinent of Gondwana, but have contracted to these isolated pockets on the east coast. This unique and beautiful spot is home to a range of rare and endangered wildlife. So to get here, you are definitely going to need a car. Now from the heart of Brisbane, it is going to take you around an hour and a half's drive. And from the Gold Coast, it's around two hours drive. Now in terms of the time of day you visit, sunrise would be a fantastic time. You could get up in the dark, make your way up here with like a thermos full of coffee and some breakfast that you brought with you and sit here and watch the sunrise. It would be spectacular. Now you can absolutely bring your food from home we decided we want to treat ourselves a little bit so we stopped off in Boona we picked up a couple of wraps from there yum I just wish I brought a cup of tea because it's really cold up here so a visit to Mount Cordo would be an excellent day trip if you just want to do something to pad a weekend or maybe an itinerary that you have to Brisbane a trip out here is absolutely perfect but I would definitely recommend extending it if you can because there's so much great stuff to see and do in the scenic rim and surrounding areas I nearly didn't put this um red Kathmandu shell kind of jacket in and I shoved it in my bag at the last second I'm really glad I did it is very fresh one thing I wish we'd done differently I wish we brought um, a lovely thermos full of tea <laughs> nice cup of tea or some coffee for the top maybe a hot chocolate that would have been ideal um, and maybe just like a couple of warmer items of clothing to put on because it's getting pretty fresh now so if you're coming at the start of June or around that kind of area or even deeper into winter you're definitely gonna need some stuff to rug up because it is brisk <laughs> Now we are making our way back down to the car park you guys. Um, I might see if Matt's willing to flash our final time up at the end of this video or now I guess we will have done it by the time you see this so you know exactly how long it took us. Hopefully it helps you plan your own adventure. So I would love to know what do you think of the Mount Cordeaux circuit? Would you do this? Would you add it to an itinerary? Would you come out and do it as a day trip? And if you have done some other amazing hikes in the area do let me know because I'm really into hiking now. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys and with that that brings this week's episode to a close i really hope you have enjoyed it now if you don't already be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below have a great weekend and i will see you with a brand new episode next week love you